Today we're going to clean your refrigerator coils. Nathan Cox here, thanks for joining us on Around the Home. Okay, now I'm not talking about like that coil pack on the back of an old refrigerator. Most refrigerators have the coils up underneath. Okay, and it looks very bad. It looks something like this. Okay, now that's terrible. Now not only does it look disgusting, but it's actually preventing the refrigerator from working at its optimal level. Okay, um, obviously it can't cool those coils properly when they're coated with dust. Air is not traveling past them anymore. Okay, so what you're doing is you're making your refrigerator work harder, which is going to make it wear out faster and use more electricity at the same time. So we're going to clean it out. Now I have an older video, which I'm probably going to just going to delete because I don't like it. I'm not very happy with it because uh, I suggested that when your refrigerator is basically empty, you get someone to help you, you kind of tip it on the side a little bit while that person's holding it, the other person, not sticking their body underneath it, reaches underneath there with the vacuum hose and tries to clean off those coils, you know, and then you kind of set it back down. It's not a very good solution to that problem, okay? One of the best solutions is when you move the refrigerator, whether you're selling it or moving it downstairs or in the garage because you got a new one, is that when it's completely empty because you're moving it, you tip it over and blow it out with an air compressor in the garage or something like that. Okay, but this should be done on a, on a regular basis, especially if you have pets and stuff like that, like I do. I should probably be doing this like, well, a lot sooner than I have, you know. Uh, this should probably be done like, like twice a year or something like that. So what do you need to do this, okay? Uh, a leaf blower. <laughs> Some of you guys are like, you saw my how to clean a fan video and you just use a leaf blower. Okay, same kind of idea, right? So I hope I don't have to say this, but don't use a gas leaf blower in your house. Okay, bad idea. All right, and if you just have like a uh, a cheap corded, you know, one, um, they don't put out a lot of, a lot of air. Probably enough out air to power this out. Uh, this is a very very powerful cordless leaf blower from Ego. Okay, if you want to see the top right screen there, I got a review of it, and you can see how powerful it is. It's one of my favorite tools I've got. But take a look at my GoPro. I got my GoPro on the ground right now, looking underneath the refrigerator. Okay, and right now there's not a lot that you can see from the front. This is a Samsung refrigerator, French door, you know, chest pull out, freezer, very popular models these days. So in this one here, there's no toe kick in the front, it's just wide open. A lot of your older standard refrigerators with the refrigerator on bottom, freezer on top, they have a plastic grate right there. It's a toe kick area. If you just grab either side, you can just pop it right off. It just snaps right off in the front. There's just two spring clips, okay? Now I don't know, I'll be honest, I haven't tried this with leaf blower yet, this is my first time. And if you do this, I think you should really make sure your wife's not home when you're doing this. Hey, Dad! Oh. Okay, well at least don't do it right after cleaning day, okay? Do it the day before cleaning day, or actually today is cleaning day. So I'm going to do this, and then we can vacuum up, because I think this is going to be really messy, because I'm way past due on this. So let's pull the refrigerator out away from the wall, and I'll show you kind of how bad the, the, uh, the little louvered vent is. Okay, so take a look at this now. I've moved my GoPro down there, right behind there. You can see there's already a big wad of hair and dust ballessness that's on the ground that just rolled out from underneath the refrigerator. And you can see that louvered vent, I, I think because of the way it's all packed in there, that it's sucking the air um, from the back of the fridge and pushing it out the front. So I think I'm gonna blow it the other way around. We'll try that. So I'm gonna blow from the front Try to blow it out the back and see what happens, okay? This might get a little crazy, but check it out. Well, I think it worked. <coughs> you might get a dust mask for that one, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try blowing from the back now and push that back. I'm gonna just try to get it really clean looking. <sighs> okay, so I think that accomplished it, but you can see it makes a mess. So don't do this right after a cleaning day or your wife's gonna kill you. Let's go take a look and see how bad the dust was. Let's take a look. I just need one. Okay, so we got some dust bunnies there. That looks so much better now. In our laundry room, we got, man, we got giant dust bunnies everywhere. And dust still floating around like crazy. And then here by the stove, even dropped off a few more giant ones. Okay, now I didn't think it was going to be that bad. If I did, I would have worn a dust mask. I expected a couple of big dust bunnies to plop out, but I didn't expect this. 
but obviously that was way past due, very well needed to be done, and I think we did a really good job of cleaning that out without having to tip the fridge over or do anything dangerous or stupid. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know, someone might call this dust stupid. But anyways, those grates, those coils are going to be really clean now, and the refrigerator is going to be able to work properly again. So please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, uh, click the, uh, the bell on that for notifications. Below that is a link to my website. Hundreds of more videos organized really well, and some additional videos over here on the other side for you guys to check out. Thanks again.